Compunetics is a relatively new term that we introduced um, when we did our first event in 2004 and that came from a little word game, Contraction of Computing and Networking, okay. Compunetics. And uh, during our first event where we, for the first time, took um, the relationship between ICT and medicine and care from the opposite direction. We looked from ICT towards medicine and care. Um, instead of having an oncology conference with an ICT session and etc. Mm -hmm. So we inversed it, which had a absolutely unexpected effect. At least I hoped it would have that effect, but it, and it did. Uh, for example, we had a workshop on ICT and Alzheimer and a workshop on ICT and autism. And they went to see each other's workshop and they discovered that 70% of what they were doing was identical without them knowing it. So that was the moment that we decided let's do something with this concept. And that was when we started the foundation ICMCC. And during that event I realized that I could play with the word Compunetics as it was a new thing. So I decided to add social to it. So and you talk about computing and social networking. And that was the moment I realized I had the patient on board. Mm -hmm. And from there we took on. And now Compunetic stands officially for the social, societal and ethical aspects of the use of ICT. And we do with them in, in medicine and care. Psychology is taking over a part of it, the behavioral Compunetics as they call it. And, um, and that is our core business. To, to see that a information is coming towards the patient, but also towards the, 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 the health professional, um, which um, as a result gave our website, which is one of the leading news and science pages on health ICT on the internet. Um, our annual conferences, our uh, book series with Springer, uh, we are now having a call for chapters for our second book on digital home care and uh, raising awareness that's the other thing apart from the information it's the awareness that that is that is so awfully important at the moment i mean we we are talking about hundreds of different possibilities of changing healthcare making healthcare more efficient making healthcare more cost efficient etc 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 the problem is that the main uh, stakeholders in the process, which is the healthcare professional and above all the patient, is not aware. Mm -hmm. So during all the speeches I've given in the past years at other conferences as well as my own, um, I've always ended with the phrase, who is going to tell the patient? The last two years I added to that and who is going to tell the doctor? Yeah? And that's, that's, that's an aspect that everybody is forgetting, I think. And that's what we try to do, to, 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 to let the business know that they will have to do something to make the user aware of the fact that these paradigm shifts, and there are more of them, it's the technology, it's uh, the change in, in healthcare in general, the way it is done, uh, the, the, the paradigm shift in the relationship between physician uh, or, or health provider and the patient, that we should raise that awareness. Hmm. Otherwise, people will not use it. So what, what drives you in this? What, what excites you most about it, the field? I don't know. I mean, I think the pure concept of, of, of bringing technology to the people in, in a section that is absolutely necessary. Yeah? I mean, with all the fun that you have with, with, with your mobile phone, with your iPod, with, you can put it to a better use. Yeah? You can really use it to have people take things into their own hands. Yeah? Their self-management, their self-care, at the same time serving the system. For you make things more efficient. You, you have with that a solution for the upcoming problem of understaffing in, in the business. Yeah? And uh, you can, with the new technology, help people to be longer independent, both in behavior and in, 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 in actual living. Yeah? And, and that's what drives me.
the, that's the reason why we as ICMCC organize next year the first global awareness conference. We call it GITA, Global Health Information Technology Awareness, where we really want to get together all the stakeholders, which is pharmacy, which is medicine, which is technology, which is, above all, patients, yeah, to, to sit together and say, okay guys, how are we going to tackle this awareness problem? How, what, what are the means to make people realize that there is a change ahead and how to prepare themselves for that?